Now that the weather is getting colder, you may think you're safe from contracting Lyme disease, which is carried by deer ticks. But guess again, we've learned the tiny pests are still around and could make you sick. Iowa to Susan Porter, Pete Mangione has more on this important warning, new at 530. We often worry about ticks in the summertime, but they can be just as dangerous in the fall and winter. You're looking at ticks collected in Rhode Island that don't seem to mind cold weather. I collected these um, two days ago and yesterday. Your eyes, Dr. Thomas Mather plays the role of tick collector. And even though we have already had the first hard freeze of the season, he still has no problem filling up these test tubes. They actually come out at the beginning of October, and um, their peak numbers really are in November after we typically would have our first frost. Ticks can actually survive throughout the entire winter even if they are frozen into the ground for periods of time. They must um, produce some kind of um, antifreeze inside of themselves because as soon as the ground thaws and it, they warm up again a little bit, they're back out and biting. This can put humans at risk of Lyme disease, which Mather says is especially common in ticks during the colder months. We often have a January thaw and people are caught off guards um, because these ticks will reemerge. The Lyme disease rate in ticks is higher in the colder months because there are more adults around and they have had more opportunities to bite other infected animals during the summer and fall. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.